Normally, we would have the report of the superintendent now, but tonight, Dr. Monahan couldn't be with us. Um, we are fortunate that we are next moving ahead to presentation and discussion one, in which we happen to have Dr. Eric Byrne, our incoming <laughs> superintendent with us, to present his entry plan. Dr. Byrne, would you come to the podium? Good evening, thank you very much uh, for having me here this evening. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here for my almost first official <laughs> Board of Education meeting. We'll, so we'll wait for uh, July 11th for that. But well, we appreciate that you like to get a jump on things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you may have figured out I'm early to most things. Uh, you know, I've shared with all of you that I typically set all my timepieces six minutes ahead uh, so that I'm not late to anything. And my wife often resets everything to on time because she doesn't like to be early to everything. But um, I, I've talked a lot um, with the community so far about entry. The first night I spoke with the community back a few months ago, I shared that I would be coming forth with an extensive entry plan to help me as in the transition into this position. Uh, I do believe uh, that entry is a critically important piece. And so tonight I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about uh, why entry and what will be happening. And the plan itself uh, will be available on the district website. I think uh, there's some copies here. Um, and uh, it will be available on the superintendent's page of the website for anyone that would like to print it out, take a look at it, uh, peruse it, and learn a little bit more about it. So the, the purpose of entry is really, it's pretty simple. It's, it's about learning. It's not about touring schools, it's about taking a deep dive into what makes Rye unique, what makes our schools what they are, and learning from people what we want to be and where we want to go as a system. It's all about engagement. It's not talking to the seven of you and just the seven of you and or the administrators, it's talking to a wide group of stakeholders from the community. Certainly I've already, as part of my transition, had my entry interviews with the Board of Education, but I'll be meeting with teachers, I'll be meeting with staff, I'll be custodians, cafeteria workers, um, uh, parents, students, community members, community organizations, and all the key stakeholders in the community that help make Rye the special community that it is. And essentially what we'll be looking at is three areas of focus, if I get my PowerPoint going correctly here. Good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll be looking at teaching and learning, <laughs> finance and operations, governance, community, and public relations. And, and as you'll see, uh, and as anyone that takes a look at the plan will see, that all of these are going into a closet. I appreciate everyone's patience as we're improvising tonight. There is, um, there is work being done at the middle school. In all three areas, it, it will help me to get a full view of the system from top to bottom and from all the different areas. And the first page of the goals of the entry plan, essentially the whole point of an entry plan is about relationships. It's establishing relationships with the members of the Board of Education. It's establishing or having established a relationship with Dr. Monahan to help ensure a smooth transition. It's to get out in the community and listen broadly and learn about everything I possibly can about the school district. I need to hear multiple perspectives and many different voices Hearing one voice from one constituent group is not going to be particularly helpful in developing a comprehensive understanding of the school district. And it means establishing strong relationships with lots of people, including the administrators, the teachers, the support staff, uh, the students and the families, the local community leaders, um, and the elected officials. And all of this is to create a foundation of strong relationships so that the work we can build moving forward and that strategic vision that is sorely needed will be able to happen in a much easier manner because those relationships are there. If we don't have strong relationships and we don't know how to collaborate, we will not ever get to that point. And that's why this is critically important. And, and as you'll 
see when you look at the plan, and we can move to the next slide. This is not a, a plan that's going to last three weeks or three months. This is a plan that's going to take us you know, through next school year. Um, we've already been in the transition phase, and we're just days away from the end of the first phase of the um, entry plan, and that's been the transition, meeting with the Board of Education, meeting with administrators, reviewing documents, lots and lots of, you've all seen me carrying my tote bags around. I have three <laughs> tote bags now filled with all my ride documents. I have a pretty full uh, Google Drive with all the things that Gabby has shared with me uh, in learning about the district. And then uh, beginning July 1, although I don't suspect that I'll be doing any entry interviews at the beach this weekend, <laughs> but beginning July 5th, I'll be uh, starting those entry interviews beyond the Board of Education. So, um, and then once that will begin July, fir July 1st, effectively July 5th, um, that's gonna continue till the end of December. Um, because it's, a, it's an incredible amount of information that I, I seek to gather from the community. And then we'll begin the analysis and planning piece when we come uh, beyond January 1. One thing I will say is that you'll hear fairly frequently, uh, certainly in my superintendent's reports, and at several scheduled times, um, some reporting out and updates of the status of the plan. So, that's something that I'll keep the board and the community updated on how it's going uh, and what I'm learning along the way. But these are the typical activities that you'll see me engaged in. I've already been um, heavy into document review. Uh, I think Josephine was a little surprised when I sent the list that was uh, quite extensive and uh, she's gathered quite a lot. The ones that I haven't been reviewing already are waiting in a box outside of my well, outside of Brian's office uh, <laughs> over at the Central Administration <laughs> Building. The entry interviews, the tours. I've been fortunate to have some informal tours. Uh, yesterday I was here at Milton for the uh, terrific Literacy Institute and uh, uh, Dr. Nardone gave me a tour of the building. I learned all about the 100-year-old section of the building and the new section and the construction. <laughs> I've spent uh, some time walking through the high school with Patty Taylor um, and Caitlin and walking through middle schools. So, uh, those tours will continue throughout the summer, and then there'll be a whole round of new tours uh, once all the teachers and the kids are back in the fall. Um, I know that uh, certainly with the Board of Education, we have a retreat coming up, which will be a significant component of this entry plan. Uh, we have an administrative retreat in August that uh, we've been working on planning. That is a critically important part of the entry plan. And then I'll be getting out there in the community. So, you know, we may be doing some some early, early coffee so that if someone wants to stop by and say hello and meet uh, before they get on the train heading into the city, we'll be able to do that, but we'll have them throughout the day and the evening so that I can get to know community members. And looking forward to just plopping myself down uh, in schools in the fall during lunchtime in the faculty and staff rooms. Hopefully it won't prevent anyone else from coming into the faculty and staff room, <laughs> but I've always found it's a great place to get to know people, uh, sitting, having lunch, and talking a bit. And, um, you know, not everybody loves being in a student uh, cafeteria, but I do, and I hope to get to know many of the students. I, I was asked um, a pretty good question today about, um, you know, do I love doing, do I love being an administrator? And I do. Uh, and I've been an administrator since 1997. Um, and the piece that I shared uh, when I was asked this question earlier today is that it, this is the first job where I, I won't know lots of the kids, so it will be important for me to make that extend, extended effort to get out there and meet the kids and get to know them, and I will be doing that. Um, you know, at where I am now, uh, I had the good fortune of being the principal for about a third of the students in our high school at Horace Greeley. I was their elementary school principal, and so when I walk around, you can somewhat see the faces of the second-year-old kids in their 17-year-old bodies. And, uh, <laughs> and that's, that's a piece that, you know, I'll be very mindful that I won't have that here, but I'll be developing relationships with students in other ways because that's too important. So where we are now, um, sharing the entry plan with the community, um, I shared it with the Board of Education and the administrative team. Uh, received some great feedback, made revisions to that plan. That'll be a theme that you hear from me all the time. I, I love getting feedback, I love talking about feedback, and I love making sure that there are feedback loops built into the work that we do 
uh, and I'll be the first one out there looking for the feedback. So I did that with this plan. Feedback from, there was a missing comma <laughs> that one of our <laughs> grammarian administrators helped me out with. Um, although it's a debatable comma, but I used it in other places. <laughs> <laughs> It was an Oxford That's comma. Darn Oxford comma. <laughs> <laughs> Such a uh, trouble. I've already been engaged in the transition activities and uh, tonight presenting this to the community, getting it posted on the district website um, is the next big step. So, so now what the big next steps are um, getting these interviews going. I've got an invitation crafted, sent that over to Josephine this morning. Um, it will be a, a, written inter, a written invitation that goes out to people that has the questions attached. I do think it's important if you haven't seen them on the plan itself or you don't have the plan in advance that you have those questions to think about because I really want to hear people's uh, thoughts and experiences about the school system. So I'm pretty excited. I'm ready to get going on Wednesday of next week after a few days at the beach and uh, uh, we'll get some great information this way. So thank you. Thank you. Does anyone from the board have any questions or comments they'd like to make at this point about Dr. Burns' presentation? I think we've had a fair amount of opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say I, I will make the I'll make the comment in, in public is that one of the things that I've appreciated so much about uh, Dr. Burns already is that this kind of planning happens in every meeting. He's thoroughly prepared, and 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 the fact that. Mm -hmm you see something like this with this kind of detail and you know much thought goes into it that it's been it's been fantastic to have so thank you we have yeah. talked a lot about it personally um but i think that's worth weighing, saying in public yeah. and i agree and i absolutely i not only agree with that but i also appreciate the attitude of let's you know let's not only have continuing feedback but also let's make sure that we continue to report out on what has been going on and the steps that are being taken i think that um you know follow up to any plan is enormously important so I really appreciate that that's been built in right from the start mm -hmm. and uh, I would I just like to share uh, with the community that um, it has been a, a deeply engaging process already and you don't actually even work here <laughs> um, so um, it's been amazing he has been um, spending some days with us which would have been his vacation days from Chappaqua um, in order to d begin affecting um, a really in-depth transition. So we are deeply appreciative of your time and your effort, and um, we think it bodes very well for good things to come. Um, and I cannot believe that somehow between the time that we read your first draft of your entry plan and now we're almost at the end of the transition phase. You know? <laughs> um, so it's, it's pretty remarkable. I really do recommend to anyone in the community that you go ahead. It will be posted prominently on the website. Sarah Derma will make sure of that for us um, so that it's not challenging to, to find um, even though we haven't moved to our new fabulous improved website just yet. But Sarah will make it easy to find so people can have that opportunity to look thoroughly at it. And then please do um, do take Eric up on his invitation that goes out. Yes. You, you do make the comment on the plan goals when you say ensure multiple perspectives. Or I assume that's just talking to people that agree with us in different ways. <laughs> Spoken like a true board of education member. Um, is there anyone? Is there anyone from? Is there anyone from the public tonight who has any questions or comments about uh, Eric's entry plan? Okay. All right, and, and just a reminder to our Board of Education members, please don't forget your homework that I assigned to you a few weeks back for uh, <laughs> our next meeting together. Excellent, <laughs> yes. Um, we, will, we will next be together uh, as a board with Dr. Byrne in his prop role as the superintendent of schools um, on July 10th and July 11th. Um,